लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में लेफ्ट हैंड साइड में वी हैव अ पैंक्रियास एंड स्टमक स्टमक के नीचे राइट सो नाउ एवरी ऑर्गन हैज डिफरेंट फंक्शन द लिवर कंट्रोल्स डिटॉक्सिफाइज एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज गोस थ्रू इट लिवर कंट्रोल्स हार्मोन्स लिवर कंट्रोल्स ब्लड शुगर व्हिच वन आई टेल यू लेटर ऑन पैंक्रियास कंट्रोल्स ब्लड शुगर व्हिच वन आई टेल यू लेटर ऑन ओके now today is the topic is only blood sugar so uh, stomach controls uh, stomach acid that is called hcl all right now when 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 in the blood in the blood the sugar is too much and it's not going out of it of the body by any mean means by any any ways you are not burning out the sugar from the blood it will stay inside in the blood so what happens the sugar start rising up in the blood and it's not going out and it's not storing also it's moving it's moving it's moving you become a diabetic too with the course of time in short that diabetic too problem is liver problem not pancreas problem pancreas ka problem tab hota hai jab apna pancreas mein se insulin exhaust hua tha khatam hua tha means ke it does not produce insulin that time you become diabetic one you got it that time you have to take the insulin injections because you don't produce insulin right now in diabetic two stage you can produce insulin but you are resistant you are resistant so what happens now in diabetic two they will give you the tablet metformin okay that's a very popular tablet they will give a tablet to control what the tablet does we have a receptor here on the liver okay the receptor ka matlab kya hai to absorb sugar and to utilize it okay with the course of time when you continuously intake of sugar is very high level by any means means you're taking refined carbohydrates you're taking artificial sweeteners you're taking sugar in the tea you are taking uh, apple juice constantly uh, you are taking other things you know so many things are there sugary food uh, what happens now the sugar is so much in the blood the receptors which are here to absorb the sugar and filter it out and mix it with the uh, blood and uh, metabolize it they become dead they become dead through the liver that tablet when you take metformin they open the receptors totally means 1000 times they open the receptors for example uh, example ye hai ke if i'll uh, call you uh, for some sale and i'll tell you on the phone uh, ke boss uh, i'm selling you this product are you interested in buying it you will say no thank you very much i'm not interested right now you put the phone down okay i'll call you in 2 hours again okay so you will say no thank you yaar main already bol chuka hu nahi chahiye mere ko you i'll call you again after 4 5 hours in the evening tell me boss uh, i told you number of times you are not listening but the thing is again one hour i call you so what will happen irritating right that's what it happens here so what happens now when you take tablet to open the receptors the tablet dose is not fixed with the course of time you have to increase the dose to open the receptors to metabolize the sugar because the diabetic 2 is a is a is a liver problem is not a pancreas problem so if you take care of this thing show is over means you take care of your liver you are healthy if you not take care of your liver you are ready to get the problem the same thing is the pancreas pancreas air is producing insulin every time you eat anything anything you eat it will release the insulin quickly to take down the sugar level down from the blood this is blood all right this is the pancreas work uh, with the course of time okay when the pancreas are exhausted and you keep on taking sugar in sugar in sugar in what happens pancreas is dead no insulin release what happens you will fall apart you can get into the coma high bp high diabetic okay so that time you take insulin injection artificially insulin injection all right and to take the sugar level down 
So, the moral of the story is here. These two organs are working together to maintain the balance in the body for blood sugar level, pancreas and liver. Now, symptoms. First is high blood sugar, second is low blood sugar. Symptoms are almost same. Almost same, what is high blood sugar? Mein kya uh, you'll become hyperactive. Okay? Because you don't know what to do. You have so much energy immediately. But at the same time, it will fall down again. No, at the same time, it will fall down again. Okay, try it out in the morning. One day you try it out, kale shake or spinach shake, green juice shake, nice, put a kiwi, one piece of fruit, put sea salt a little bit and drink it and come to office. Second day, you take only one donut with one coffee and come to the office. Then you will see the difference what I am talking about. The blood sugar, is fluctuation in blood sugar. Works like that. When this thing works, your mood swings change. Here you are great, here you are very bad. Again in the day, here you are great, again very bad. Okay, this is what happens with your blood sugar. So that means sometimes you feel fatigue here, uh, you feel great here, you feel fatigue here. Again great, again fatigue. Because why? You are eating again crappy food, the blood sugar shoots up. Again you eat, the blood sugar goes down, you fall bad. So the whole day it goes on in year by year, weeks by week, hour by hour it goes on. So until or unless you don't correct this system to control the blood sugar. Now if this blood sugar is in this level, straight line, or I would say not this kind of jump, I would say this jump. See the difference? You see the difference? If it's this difference, your mood swing will not be... You know, in one uh, dham -dham 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 -dham. You, you will be settled down here, you will be calm here, no stress, nothing. So, symptoms is fatigue, energy levels down or high, cravings. You will crave for sweet fruits, foods, I would say, because uh, craving, boleto, craving comes, craving comes when the level of potassium goes down. This is very important mineral. This potassium comes from where? Green leafy vegetables. Green leafy vegetables. Maximum potassium comes from here. If the cravings, you have cravings of anything which is uh, for sweet, that comes potassium deficiency. That means Okay, uh, mood swing ho gaya, uh, excessive urination. If you're going frequent urination, means ke, uh, you can't hold it and you, you, you have urge to go constant basis, that means you have sugar problem, all right? Uh, wounds, uh, if you don't heal fast, problem of the sugar. Uh, sweet urine, uh, you can try it out sometimes to practical uh, things. If your urine, uh, if you urinate, uh, and then uh, up, uh, all flies come and sit on it. Huh? Anywhere outside when you track or something. And within two seconds you will come to know. Okay, this is sweet urine. Diabetic uh, mellitus is something like that. Alright? So, you can check your blood sugars on a constant basis. So, moral of the story is that if you have any symptoms of this problem and how to cure it, What are the reasons and how to cure it? The reason is refined sugar, refined carbohydrates, no vegetables, no exercise, no meditation, no flexibility, mobility workout, not enough potassium in food, uh, no good fats, I would say, and artificial sweeteners, what we use, Splenda. They are killers. They are totally killers. So, if you are using, these are the reasons for blood sugar problems, if you are using these things, uh, if you are not doing exercise and you are not taking enough vegetables, you are not, you're not taking good carbohydrates, you are taking refined carbohydrates, you are not taking oats, quinoa, uh, apna, you know, green leafy vegetables, uh, good carbohydrates, in place of you taking all these things which I have already told you, 
Well, that's how you. That's why you sometimes you feel fatigue, Gordy. Sometimes you feel fatigue. You feel low. But you eat biscuit, you feel good. Again. This is the blood sugar. Uh, this is a very important point which I wanted to discuss you for a long time. So you have to, you have to be very careful what you're eating. Low glycemic index foods. Remember that. Jinka glycemic index, I would say 40 se niche ho. Banana ka glycemic index is around 80 to 90 as far as I remember. Or if you say pear, pear ka glycemic index I think is under 50. Is under 50. So banana is good? Banana is not good. It will bounce your sugar. And which you are taking biscuit. You people are taking biscuit. Its glycemic index is I would say is 90 to 100. It's a pure sugar. Nothing else. It's gonna bounce your, it's gonna kill your pancreas anytime. It's gonna give you feel, nice feeling. A one cup of tea, one cup of tea plus sugar, one spoon. First thing is, is tea is containing caffeine. The second thing is containing sugar. It's gonna destroy these adrenal glands, the caffeine, because it's gonna push you more stress hormones from here so what happens it will give you it will stimulate your hormone and it will give you very hi, nice high for some time you feel good after coffee or tea you must be feeling very good after coffee or tea plus sugar you added listen to me now plus sugar you added again your sugar is bounced back up your adrenal glands bounce back up now after half an hour or one hour they are gonna fall from here to here because when insulin will rise, it's going to press the sugar down in the blood. It will try its best to put the sugar down. What happens otherwise? You can get into the coma. You can kill yourself. You can fall. Even if your blood sugar is low, you're going to fall. You're going to fatigue. You're going to just fall. It means dizziness will come. I have seen so many people in the gyms. They don't know in the morning what to eat. They just drink some orange juice or something and they come to the gym. And then they fall here and there. So what is the reason now? What you can do? 5 to 6 vegetable serving every day. Ashuta, 5 to 6 vegetable servings every day. Whatever you can do, even if you take one carrot, even if you take one broccoli, even if you take one bunch of little bit asparagus, take sweet potato, okay, take any uh, spinach, uh, kale, uh, dandelion green, anything, vegetable 5 to 6, any juice form, soup form, or cooked form. It's gonna help your sugar level. You can survive longer and better life without medicines. Trust me, it, it works. I have applied everything on my clients. Okay, no refined carbs. I, I know it's very difficult in your job, You, it's not possible. But as much as possible, you can reduce refined carbs, idli, dosa, pizza, pastries, cake, chocolates, cakes, waffle, pastries. Joby, no, no, I understand that. You're working very hard. You are in corporates, too much stress. Whatever is possible you eat is good. But if you reduce it, you reduce load here. Pancreas. Alright? Uh, exercise. Do something. Serious. I'm serious, I'm very serious, I'm telling yeah, you. I, I do it. Halat, ha, halat ho jayegi. To, my, Akash, my, as a friend, as a brother, as a, as a teacher, I'm telling you because it's very important. It's very important. Trust me, it's life force. Hai. This is the only key hai, which can sustain this. Because when you exercise, your glands become powerful. When glands become powerful, it will give you power to take the sugar level down and balance it out. It's working very well, right? Your hormones, fat burning hormones will work very fast. Ganesh, you got it? Exercise. Potassium. Take potassium supplements. If you can't take too many vegetables, fine with me. Potassium relaxes your brain. Potassium relaxes your muscle. It's a relaxer. You get a good sleep with potassium. So take potassium, uh, uh, potassium and magnesium. Uh, supplements, if you take it, potassium and magnesium citrate. That is very good. They all are in green leafy vegetables. They all minerals are green leafy vegetables. Meditation. If you meditate, it helps. It helps your nervous system. I explained it. 
So when the meditation is relaxing the nervous system, all glands also relaxed. So meditation helps to the blood sugar stress level because once the stress level goes down, your blood sugar automatically goes down. Why? Because when you are in stress, you burn more sugar. So when you burn more sugar, your sugar level rise up. It makes sense? When you meditate, your center nervous system goes down, your sugar level goes down. So when the sugar level goes down, it balances out. Make sense? It's interconnected. Right? So meditation is in any case is very important for you, for me, for anybody. It does not work. Uh, of course, stretching and flexibility workout is out of exercise mode. It is not in the exercise. Exercise is bouncing, hops, jumping, dancing, yeo. But meditation is different. And flexibility and uh, stretching workout is again different. These are also increases your uh, range of motion, okay? And extract out your stress from your muscles, from your bones, uh, from your mind.